Well, hello, mother funsters, and welcome to the stream. My name is Mother, and today we are going to be playing the end of uh, the Wolf Among Us, uh, chapter five. Uh, so, the last of the five chapters, uh, we're going to have a play. Um, I've been looking forward to this for a while. I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, I suppose, really, we should just get straight into it and uh, and get straight back into the story. I'm hoping this works. Should be able to see. There you go. You can see everything. All right, can you hear everything? Yes, you can. Wonderful. Right. Let's get straight into it, shall we? I've been looking forward to this. Um, episode 5 Cry Wolf. Mm. Let's do this. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Hmm. No. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. <laughs> That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Yeah, but he tries to get it We're off her. Destroying the tree. No. We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just mental. The crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, I definitely want her. I wanna, I wanna punch her so hard oh God, right in the face. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. <sighs> Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. All right, so we, we, we this is the crooked man. Sheriff. We have a great deal to discuss. Well, that was the end of the last episode. So, we, we went to meet the crooked man basically, and he seems to be in some sort of like mafia meeting with, um, well, basically all of the other sort of people in the story that are like ha have had any suspicion on them whatsoever um apart from i think the woodsman i think we've pretty much decided the woodsman's kind of on our side we're still not 100 percent sure if it was him or not but he doesn't seem he doesn't seem like it's him at the moment i don't think we'll see Right, chapter five. You've come a long way. You must be tired. So we're in the crooked man's lair. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Alright, we beat him up last time we saw him. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Sounds nice. <laughs> Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. Oh, good. Jack Daniels. That'll do me. Thank you. My favourite. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Yeah, sit your ass down, son. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know I am here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? 
I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? What's wrong with his eye? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Let's just, uh, let's leave this one, shall we? Dot, dot, dot. I thought not, but that's okay. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. Internally? I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Why not? You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? Oh, shut up, Tweedledum. The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than enough. enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Uh -huh. Really? However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down. Yeah. Now. Ooh, don't want to mess with the Mafia boss. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. <laughs> I love this guy. Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work What's something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame me for it. Ooh. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right bollocks, sis! <laughs> yeah, it's right bollocks, mate. This. Hey, look. So They're all under his thumb. Can we discuss terms? Yeah. You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. Right, let's talk. All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're going to sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really going to sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one. Who the shit do you think you fuck us out of? the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that hall at the bottom of the lake for all argument shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. Ooh. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I'm not going anywhere. Oh, hey, Lenny. How this you doing, my friend? So well. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. This is getting really interesting, man. Mediator, why negotiate when you can just decide? Huh? I thought that was a mirror. Ah! Oh dear. We don't like her. Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Someone's got a fresh cut, see? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> right. Oh, wow. Right, we get to decide. Oh, that, that Tweedle Dumb is so annoying. Q, 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 Q. He's my probably think Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle Dumb are my least. Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle D are my least favourite characters in the game. What is that? You're done, Wolf. Come on. We're pretty much done here. I'm always going to choose like Tweedle Dumb. Nice oh, no. I'm going to die. Looking fly! Cheers, Lenny! <laughs> Can I actually die in this game? I hope not. Right, there we go. Oh, no, son! 
I just stuck my favorite character in the gut, man. I love Georgie, he's hilarious. A knife right in the kidney. Holy shit, must have hurt exactly TMP. Welcome to the chat. How are you doing? Right, um yeah, let's let's just let's go ham. I think it's time to that we uh, we put the uh, baby gloves away and started killing, don't you? <laughs> Chapter five, come on now. What is this? It's like a portal to another dummy. Really? You just jump in? <laughs> come on. Oh shit! I know. I really don't want to kill Georgie though. Georgie's my favourite character. What is she doing? Why is she helping him? Oh wow, look, I'm getting my Hulk on. Getting my Hulk on. Oh no, oh no, 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 come on. Yeah. I'm not gonna get it. Oh look, he's oh, he both fingers. Did it work? Nah. No. What am I doing here? What's this thing in the middle? Oh, I didn't mean to pause it. Oh, there we go. Oh, is it like life? This is life at the bottom of my hand, maybe. Oh, this is a good. This is like a proper quick time event. Whoa! Oh. oh my god. Come on, Big B. Catch the pup. Oh, where is this? This is the pudding and pie, isn't it? I'm not sure. Oh, we can do it. We can be believe in Bigby, man. Believe in the wolf. Like, why am I running out of life? Or is it time? Shit. Fuck! What was that? Eh, uh, we got you now, mate. Right. Uh, we gotta decide who we want. Oh. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why she's helping him. I, I thought she was helping me. Right, come on, Q, 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 Q. Come on! Go on! Go on! <laughs> Oh my lord! She's trying to kill me! Knife on the kidney. That must have hurt. Yeah, man. I've never been stabbed in the kidney, so I genuinely wouldn't know, but I would imagine it would hurt quite a lot. I, I mean, I would imagine getting stabbed pretty much anywhere is going to hurt quite a lot. Oh, Go fuck ahead. off, love! Are you sure? Do it! He's not moving. Keep going! Do you think in Hulk form we could have taken that? Probably not. Well, the music stopped. Have we lost them? Oh, there they are, look. <laughs> what is that? Big something? <laughs> something. Right, so, no, this the right. Now this is the pudding and pie. I think what we went through is that, like, brothel. Um, is this a brothel as well? We went through that other brothel, the one that um, Beauty from Beauty and the Beast works in. I think that's the one that we went through. Oh, it's a bee. Big bee. Oh, big bee. Very funny. <laughs> right, what have we got here? Is this blood? Holy shit. Yeah, it's blood. So someone else is probably dead then. Um, can we go through this little gap? No. Let's go in. Let's go in. Right. I'm quite excited to find out what's going to happen next. We can't stay here. Oh yeah, get ready for the R-rated bits and pieces, by the way. Okay. Right, here we are. Hello. He's going to be bleeding quite a lot. Hello, Big B. I hope you've come to your senses. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. Yeah, that definitely. I had to say goodbyes first. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. You're gonna carry me? 
Yeah, let's do that. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this That's guy. what I'm wanting. You know what he did. Why is he... I'm not going anywhere. Why is she protecting him? I really want to know. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! <laughs> you can't fucking blame me for that. Look. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. You didn't have to do anything. Oh, come on, spill it. Like hell I didn't. Spill it. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. Take you care you of it. What that means either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Yeah. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. <laughs> I love a hat. I think I should go get a hat like that. Me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. I still want it the crooked man. so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Nah, I don't think it's finished yet. <sighs> but what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that it, it really, This game really wants me to punch him. Else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... Oh, come on! What would you have me do? Kill her? But you don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die. You still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you! What are you talking about? This is the original. The original... The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. I promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. Right. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, mm. so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. So why did someone die then? It was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. Hmm. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the Kinda missed the point. Up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just <clears throat> If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop oh it. my god. Sometimes uh, all uh, options uh, are shit. Uh, uh, I'm not playing this game, Georgie. <laughs> I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life! Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. Alright, fine. You're right. It's your life. What do you want to do? I know what I've done. Wait! I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. What's she gonna do? The fucking Vivian, 
I didn't mean. Do you think I wanted to be this person? What's she gonna do? I did to Faith and Lily, to all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian, I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing, Vivian? Don't. Oh. oh. Oh no. dear! So the Fuck. the ribbon no, was holding no, no, her ne no. her neck on. Holy shit! Why would you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just Jesus! Yeah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> fucking hell! This game is mental. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just. <laughs> He's gonna die now. Oh! It's all a dream. Fuck! Get up. Oh my god, you can Get see his innards. Up. Don't think so, Big B. Ew. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, alright? He's gonna have hours. Don't worry. What I wanna know is why didn't you just tell me this the first time I fucking oh, asked you? By the river. All right. Shepherd Royal Lurk! Sup, Trodomic! Thanks for the lurk! Fucking asshole. This game is so good. You wanna finish me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you wanna do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. I'm supposed to be a good cop here. No more games, all right. Although we did, we, we did beat up Tweedledum. <laughs> or was it Tweedledee? Just make it quick. All right. Nah, we'll kill him. We're gonna do the nice thing. All right, Georgie. <laughs> you ready? You ready? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I suppose it did the trick. Oh my god. <sighs> All right then. Wow. <laughs> Just turns the light off as though nothing ever happened. That's what I'm an emergency to leave. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not supposed to be a police officer or a sheriff. Don't I need to, you know, call the boys in or whatever? Call it in. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk off. Fair enough. All right. Whatever. <laughs> My God. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit thunderstruck. I can't believe that just happened. I mean, I thought she was gonna die. I didn't think her head was gonna fall off. My God. I really, really want Bloody Mary. Like, I don't. I'm, I'd, ra I'd rather kill her or at least, like, beat her up than the Crooked Man. Like, the Crooked Man is just. He's just, um, you know, another guy in this. Bloody Mary needs to be hurt in this. Right. I really hope I get to beat the crap out of her before the end of this game. <laughs> If I get the option to kill her, I'm definitely, I'm just like, snap decision straight away, I'm gonna get her. Right, so this is, this is the, the meat place, isn't it? The meat factory where the, that, like, butcher was, isn't it? Where we found their, like, little hideout. Or is this a different place? This is definitely, this is where, um, Georgie sent us. I love the graphics, man, that's so cool, it's like, so shaded, isn't it? Big B Wolf! Oh no. The big bad wolf. <laughs> there she is. It's only Bloody Mary, guys. You used to be something. Oh, shut up. Right.
Okay. All right, that's worrying, isn't it? These are all parts of the game so far, including this bit, which I think is from basically the prologue, the bit sort of before the um, beginning credits came up. Um, that's Snow and I forget her name, the um, landlord of the pub. I don't know who these three people are. I think these might be, oh, they, they've got the ribbons around their necks, haven't they? So they're the prostitutes, Snow and Big B. Big B outside. I feel like I should know what that banner is. Um, okay, all right. That's obviously, I forget her name, but she's one of the ones, she's the first one that died, I think. Um, and this is from like the first scene, these two. And then that is her obviously accusing the one that just died of something. I would imagine she probably knew the secret, maybe? They used to fear you. They still do, actually, love. Right, can I view this? What's this? Is it like a torture device, I think? Right. Who else are we going to kill now? <laughs> How many more people are going to die before the end of this game? Right. But right, these are silver bullets, aren't they? These are the only thing that can kill the big him. Wolf. Hello. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy, that's nice. Bottoms up. <laughs> I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Alright. I told you I wasn't gonna wow. I wasn't well, gonna pull yeah. any punches. Stealing punches while my back is turned? Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Oh yeah, I'm not fighting proper against you though, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, she disappears, she's got some sort of magic power, hasn't she? She like just reappears and appears. Is it mirrors? There she is, look. I don't know why I went to the first way place that she appeared and not the second, but... I don't know. It's like, I felt like, um, maybe it was a double bluff and she'd go back to the first. I think either way I wouldn't have found her. What am I? Oh, I'm controlling him now. Right, okay. Considering her name is Bloody Mary, I would venture to guess she can travel into mirrors. Oh, of course, yeah, because Bloody Mary, the whole thing is you say her name three times and she um, appears in mirrors. Oh! Wow. Ow, wow, wow. That was a bit too quick for me. What was that? Was that her? Looked like a, a ghost. All right, come on in, Big B. Let's go to the, the cool looking brick. Did I get that one? Ah! Oh, I think... I think Where I've got two you? of them. I don't think I've got the third one. Come out and face me. Is that what she looks like without the glamour? Oh my god, she ugly. Because she's got pieces of mirror in her. Oh, fuck, I missed. Don't. Don't. Oh, Q, 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 Oh 
Oh my god, what? Oh my god, this is like... Night of the Living Dead or something. This is creepy. Did I get out? Yeah, I got out, right. Oh, this is mental. Oh! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, just about got out, I think. There's way too many of these. We're never gonna get out of here alive. Am I dead? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh wow! Jesus Christ! Uh, I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. <laughs> now I really am the big bad wolf, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh yeah! It's made of mirror. Oh yeah, ripped her head off. Not the real one, though. See, if I was here, her, the real one, I would just stay out of this. This is like the. Um, this reminded me of the uh, the Burley Ball in um, Matrix Reloaded with all the Agent Smiths, except better. Ripping off. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that one was fake again. Ain't. Was that the real one? I don't know. Whew. That was good. Why well, do I get the feeling that Big B's gonna die by the end of this? We're gonna solve the case, and then Big B's gonna die. That's just my feeling. I've never played this before, I don't know what happens. RIP! You weren't expecting me to win, were you, mate? I'm so coming for you, biatch. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Mm -hmm. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Speak. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swinehart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything to Ooh. me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against I was literally about to click the button when it became not an option anymore. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. Yeah, I was just thinking. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. 
There you are. didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. Oh, fuck off. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Right. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. No, 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 no. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. I'm really regretting not just difficult going for him. Explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. Mm, it's not that simple though, is it, mate? He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? <laughs> I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing this one again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make it. What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? You show up with nothing but a cause. I don't know what to no do. Answers, no proof. Let's bring him to snow. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> And your punishment will follow. I'm doing it on my terms, son. My terms, not yours. I'm the sheriff. I'm in charge. <laughs> I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you what? fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are you sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. God. Motherfucker. Nice. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. It's nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> I guess you've been worse. I don't know. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. No. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes. What are you waiting for? You killed. I love Lily. this guy. She was my sister. What do you have to say for Where the yourself? fuck do you get off? You think you have the right to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances. I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I think the crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and. As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? He's dead. Hey, Sheriff, where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? I killed him. He's dead. <laughs> He's... what? <laughs> so you see, the culprit has been punished. No that doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. And I, was told I don't. I would be allowed to speak. No, you have to read the rest of the charges. Other charges. If you'd wait a moment. How about I go ahead and kill you right now? 
In front of all these people. Yes. Look like I give a shit. Exactly. After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself, but only then. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Big. That's it, you tell him! A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And resisting arrest. Oh, yes. <laughs> now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell, you stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. I know you're responsible. I'm, I'm, I'm going all in on this guy. From the beginning, so cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against the. I'd love to know what would happen next if I'd have killed him. Citizens, these charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching. Where it fucking belongs. So let's get on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the fuck? You want to let him talk? If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. I want to see what he has to say. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Seems fair. Oh, right, then. Ridiculous. I, I like his suit, by the way. Not so not so much a fan of the turtle neck. <laughs> Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he. Was. I thought he was a legend. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fibre. I hired him as a favour to his family. You see, a promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Bollocks. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? Mm. I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. I really hope you're going somewhere with this. <laughs> I see you want to come right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. It's not that simple though, is it? Lily? She wasn't free, she wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. Because <laughs> you are. The government abandoned you. Left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't, wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. 
and in turn we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much, but they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. Mm -hmm. What? That is true. You're gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. Nice. And those girls will have their justice. Screenshot! Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. <laughs> what are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town! What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes! Of course! Mm. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedledee when he was in your custody? <laughs> he was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Yeah. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> That's enough. Bitch. <laughs> so, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. Right now you wanted to you wanted to scapegoat scapegoat point. Georgie. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I everyone, calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to know. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. 
We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? Who will be the big the bad wolf? Big Miss bad White. wolf. Excuse me. I, I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder. she doing here? Speak. I'd like to. I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. Go ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you. up. Yeah, you shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. He might as well have. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily- That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me! And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid- At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Nice. Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well! No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Well done. Thank you. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone. Again. Mm. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good him. enough. Maybe no, she has more if he isn't he stopped. Been I don't care. So we get, get rid of him. We here. can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Look, Snow should decide what we do with him. She's gonna be the deputy mayor. But so. she's not the deputy mayor yet. What about Bigby? What about him? All right, He's mate. Pointed. I'm down. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess oh, don't give me the option. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Okay. No. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson! No. He has to do it! I... Not this way! Oh, oh the free down the well, mate! Bye! There you are. I hope you all... Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. 
You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. No, I won't. Bye! Uh, I think TMP wanted me to rip his head off. Yeah. Lily and Faith. That would have been fun. Yes. Another one of us to erase from the books. Oh, she's sad. She reminds me of Professor Trelawney from the Harry Potter series. A day later. Okay, have we finally gotten some sleep now? For some reason, for a second, I thought he was going to drink from like a Capri Sun. I was like, no, no, he's smoking. <laughs> oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. Who is that? I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Interesting. <laughs> Good morning, Miss White. You're late. <clears throat> Someone's gonna see you, Colin. I love Colin, man. He's funny. So he basically killed the two people, in, like the two main people involved. Well, the, the two people involved in the murders. Um, shame about um, old uh, Georgie Porgy. I liked him. <laughs> Sake, I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I'm guessing this would be different if I'd chosen I something money, different early in the early in the. Uh... Wait, Sheriff Bigby. Didn't we give him money? I have something. <laughs> you know he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. Mm. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. That's real nice. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, <laughs> and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. <laughs> Do we have to go? It might be amazing. Stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. 
Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. Nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. <laughs> no, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, hey Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pink? How should I know? Mmm. -hmm. So I'm, I'm guessing that somewhere Same along the line I made a decision that made it so that he, they have to leave. So this is what Narissa, I think her name is? The Little Mermaid. Hi. You're still wearing that then? Oh. Yeah. I guess okay. I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. Right. And then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay, just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a cigarette. All right, lovey. I love that. Yeah. See, it's... It, it, <laughs> Thank you. It fixes everything. Just give her a cigarette. Oh, she stopped crying. She's fine now. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. Treason? And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does like it matter? I know the crooked man did it. <laughs> so what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess uh, it's done as done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith... <laughs> An old version of a pacifier. Lily, Basically. She with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Ah. You? I walked her over here and I left her just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them So that piece of fabric I found near there that was you? Yeah, I cut my leg trying to get over the fence ah. So you, you started all this I just pointed you in the right direction People yeah. like us get forgotten all the time the crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. 
Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. Yeah. You tell her. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Big B. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. At the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know, but they'll come around. <laughs> You'll see. Really? After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy. So really like to play this game again, justice. but just be the biggest dickhead. <laughs> just be an asshole the whole way through. You brought the crooked man in. Everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. See, if she'd have said I'm not as big as everyone says that, um, that I am, that, that, that would I have a completely that. different meaning. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. What? Did he just figure something out that I didn't? Why would I go after her? I don't get that. Have I just missed something? <laughs> don't! I'll see you around. What did you do to Georgie? You and 68.6% of players killed Georgie. Good. Did you give the Crooked Man a trial? You and 89.6% of players gave, uh, brought, uh, brought the Crooked Man back alive. Good. You and did you punish the Crooked Man? You and 38.6% of players threw the Crooked Man down the witching well. I'd love to know how many people um, let him go. Um, not let him go. Um, like um, imprisoned him instead. Did you accept TJ's gift for Snow? Well, why wouldn't you? And then 98.5% of players decided to accept the gift. All your last uh, words, Narissa. You and 54.8% of people said, "I've hope I've done some good here." I think Mr. Narissa was actually Faith glamoured as Narissa. Oh my god, that's so right. Okay, I gotcha. That's insane. Well, we let her go. I think we probably made the right decision anyway. Special stats, right. You impressed her with your detective skills. Cool. You gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You helped him to avoid the farm. You took him back to the witching well. You tossed him down the witching well. Yes, we did. Faith, you gave her money after the Yes, we did. Offered her a job. You drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. You interrupted her funeral. Pretended to be the woodsman while she passed out. Yes, I did. You reported to him for the Snow's burglary. Oh, well, Jack's a jerk anyway. Uh, you gave her a cigarette during the final conversation. You tried to take her ribbon off at Bigby's office. Yes, I did. Yes. You brought her along with you to the trip trap. You showed her Crane's photograph. Tiny Tim. You chose to wait for him. Oh, yeah, I remember. Um... 
when we went to like um, the big bad's office. He accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. Toad, you slapped him during the interrogation in his apartment. <laughs> You stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him the farm and you gave him money. So overall, I think I was mostly nice. Uh, I, I did beat a few people up once or twice. Um, you know, why not? I'm the big bad wolf. That's quite interesting. Um, I like that. That's cool. So, I think he missed with Nerissa was actually Faith Glamoured as Nerissa. Faith is this one. She's the one that died. Right. Fair enough. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Right, I've got my uh, review. Is the review what? Oh, have I not got? I want to watch the advert. So not the adverts. The um, the credits. Hold on. See if we can get a credit roll going. Oh wow. Is that? Is that it? I don't get very much credits. Right, let's do my uh, let's do my uh, review. So, uh, this isn't a particularly easy game for me to review, so I'll keep it brief because I've never played a story time game before, so I don't have anything to compare it against. It's certainly an interesting concept, and a game that needs little to no skill to complete appeals greatly to the noob in me. Uh, I've always liked games that feel like films, and this kind of game kind of takes that to the pinnacle uh, of that sentiment. Uh, as there's no real gameplay, the characterization, correct characterization and the story becomes really important. The characterization felt fantastic to me, uh, with all the characters feeling varied and real, uh, with their motives mostly believable and their interactions with the main character feeling mostly genuine. The story and setting were very good, but quite cliched overall. I mean, neo-noir crime, crime mystery is basically a genre of its own. Uh, the neo noir setting felt very forced for the first 10 to uh, sorry, 15 20 minutes or so of the game, but the story and the characters were gripping enough to make the world feel real and pull me in very quickly. And I think in the end, I really appreciated the neo noir vibe. The idea that all of the characters were fairy tale characters, which I believe was originally from a comic, is pure genius and adds a really interesting layer to the whole thing and helps to slightly break out of the cliche. The actual gameplay was very smooth and nicely polished overall, except a few points where I was allowed to walk around a room for example and the ca camera wasn't very well placed. Overall, I can totally understand where this game gets its love. I really enjoyed playing The Wolf Among Us. I believe it's a good example of a good story time game and I would like to play more of this type of game in the near future. And there we go. I freaking loved that. I just want to take a quick moment thank you green tech so much for recommending this game to me thank you so much i believe you actually bought it for me as a gift uh, a while ago um so i really appreciate that um what a fantastic game i'm so glad i've played it i would like to play more story time games uh, on stream soon next though um in terms of my like other games i play it's going to be darksiders 2 because i played darksiders 1 a couple of months ago on stream uh, I would at some point as well like to play this again and just go completely different uh, and play it like in a different way. Uh, I think what might be fun, uh, like I mentioned earlier, because I was generally quite nice in this playthrough, I'd love to play it again and just be the biggest asshole and just see what happens. So I think I might do that at some point uh, in maybe a few months time. Uh, but uh, for now, because um, I'm keeping it episodic, I just want to thank you guys all very much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate you coming along. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, and um, yeah, just um, who, who to thank? Just really everyone. Thanks Lenny, Madadin, um, TMP. Uh, thanks for lurking today, Tridomic. Uh, do appreciate the lurk. Uh, it's always um, it's always good. Um, in terms of what's coming next, um, my next stream will be same time tomorrow. So four o'clock. In the afternoon, I'm going to be doing another Terraria stream. So anyone that wants to come along, watch, put some music on, or even play along with us, uh, you can join the server. That would be great. Um, we'll be playing for probably about four hours or so. So I'm really looking forward to that. I think we're going to uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, heart farming at first, and then we're going to try and um, sort of open up the uh, kill. I think it's called the Skeletron boss, and uh, and kill um, uh, and go in the. Um, you know the dungeon I think it's called and then we'll go down to hell and we maybe activate um, hell mo um, the hard mode if we're uh, if we've got enough time um, so yeah 
um, that's really it. Uh, do stick around um, for uh, a minute or two because I'd like to see if there's anyone that I can um, I, I can uh, raid. Uh, if we can maybe uh, raid uh, one of my uh, one of the other um, good uh, streamers that's around at the moment. Uh, I think Tiger Cult might be playing Fortnite. If any of you uh, fancy maybe watching a bit of that. But no, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I love uh, sharing these games uh, with uh, the community and just having a bit of a community atmosphere. Uh, so uh, we shall see you all next time. See you next time. Bye for now.